Okay, we're, um, we're in the Everglades. We're at the Flamingo section of the Everglades National Park. Um, that's the visitor center. Suffered an enormous amount of damage last year with uh, Hurricane Irma. Um, we're well, there's basically the tip of the mainland of Florida, the southern tip, basically. Um, as far as what you can access by uh, vehicle, you know, car or uh, or walking or something like that. I mean, you could go around either corner and with with uh, with a boat, and you might get further south or whatever. But if you look at the map, we're basically on the southern tip for all intents and purposes. Um, this is basically, well, this is Florida Bay right in front of us. Uh, after these islands here, you would go down. The next body of land you would find would be the Keys. These are, and essentially, this is all part of a conglomeration of 10,000 islands and the Keys. They sort of meld together at this point. There's really no single geographical point of reference that says you're now in the 10,000 islands or you're now in the Keys. We're basically this is where it is right here but we're on the southern tip of the mainland so um flamingo once had a thriving uh, uh, camping community there was a uh, you know uh, uh, a hotel here at one point apparently there were cabins uh some of that got blown away in the early 90s with hurricane andrew some of it um got blown away recently but it's basically most of it's closed they have plans to bring a lot of it back the visitor center is being restored as we speak um, so this is sort of a crossroads in a way in time for this area to be you know it's sort of down as low as it's going to get and it's coming back up um, the hurricane Irma dealt dealt this place a hell of a blow the we were just at the marina store. That's a thriving little place. There's all kind of people coming in and out of there, running kayaks and putting in their boats and all sorts of stuff, but it still isn't what it once was. Um, we look now over the horizon here, we see this really neat storm rolling in. Um, but it just gives it gives you sort of a, a little bit of a point of reference to, um, to, to pique your interest, maybe about coming down here. This isn't going to be a travel log or a, any kind of a informational thing like that. It's more just to, hey, it's still here. You're about, once you enter the park, you're about 40 miles from the park and on this single road. And uh, it's an incredible place. We saw some manatee right over there. That's where the marina is. And you can see from all the slips that are empty now that these would have, back in the thriving days, would have been completely full. They got some kind of dam over there for something. They always seem to have to want to control the water flow for some reason. But, um, we're going to go check out the visitor center now and see what's up there. Just an incredible place.